Liz and Recycling Ben here at the Dalton Whitfield Recycling Center. Today we are using the technique from Japan called Furokashi to wrap our prizes for the winners of our America Recycle Safe Billboard Contest. So I have some examples here of some simple wrapping techniques that you can do with a square piece of fabric or a t-shirt. This year we're using our official America Recycles Day t-shirts. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions for two Furokoshi wrapping techniques. They're really quite simple. You just need to follow along and just pay attention. It's really easy. You're going to be surprised. The first thing we need to do is fold in the sleeves of our shirt and then fold the collar and the label in so that all that is tucked inside and you have this nice smooth line at the top. Now, Furokoshi is based on having a square piece of fabric, so I'm going to get the width of my shirt here and do a rough measurement so I can figure out how long the shirt needs to be. And this bottom edge, I'm going to fold it up so I have my square shape. Now, the next thing you'll notice is, if you look up Furokoshi instructions online, is that it's always laid out in a diamond shape. And usually, each corner is labeled A, B, C, and D. So, I have this practice box here to show you how to do the basic four-way tie. And what you're going to do is put your gift in the middle. You're going to get the two opposite corners and you're going to tie a knot. It's very simple. A double knot or a square knot is recommended but since we folded over some fabric and we got some good thick fabric to work with I'm going to do a single knot on the inside. And then you get your other two corners and tie a knot. Now we do have some excess fabric so if, you're, if you are using a t-shirt, I recommend that you pull the sleeve out. So it will give you a little more fabric to work with as you tie the knot. And we're going to do over, pull, come back around, and do the other side under, and pull back. And you're ready to go. And just adjust it and make sure everything is tucked in and you got your package wrapped. So this is one way to do it and this is the simplest way and you can do a double knot or you can do a square knot, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now for this technique, for the corner, it's a little different and I'm just going to unwrap this particular shirt um, so we can use the same format again. Even out your edges here, do the diamond shape, and you got A, B, C, and D. And you're going to get your package or your gifts and line them up to the edge, to the bottom edge. You're going to get this bottom corner, pull it up over your gift. Then you're going to get corner A, pull it over towards the opposite side. Then you're going to get your whole present, fold that down, make sure everything is even. And then you're going to get these last two corners and tie them together. And again, since we do have a t-shirt, we have some excess fabric here. I'm going to pull up the remainder of the fabric and do a double knot. And as you're doing the knot, you want to make sure everything's tucked in. Just double check it and come back around. Pull in the opposite direction. You can do double knot, single knot, whatever you think you need to make the package secure and fluff it up and you're ready to go. So those are two simple Furokoshi folding techniques. All you need to do is get a square piece of fabric, get the opposite end ends together and tie your knots. And this is a wonderful, no waste way to give somebody a gift and give them a t-shirt at the same time and not produce any trash. Definitely an eco-friendly way to do the holidays this year. Enjoy!